and welcome to Insert Coin Begin Presents Let's Play Episode um, 22. Definitely not 7. Episode 22. Yeah. <laughs> episode 22. We are from Insert Coin to Begin Presents. And then, 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 insert, pre insert, I can't speak. Insert Presents Riz, Coin to Riz, Begin. Riz, Riz, tell these <laughs> fine people where we are from on the internet. We are from Insert Coin to Begin dot com. Where we can, where we give you gaming news by gamers, for gamers, in gamers, around gamers, around gamers, whatever. That is correct. Joining, joining <laughs> us is Chachi. I guess. Say hi, Chachi. I guess. And Robert F J Town. Howdy. And I'm. I'm, I'm and friend. as recently stated, I'm there is. Yes, you can find us online at insertcoin to begin dot com, uh, Google Plus, Facebook, iTunes, um, Twitter at insertcointb, and we all individually have our own Twitters in which we are complete giant asses on. I'm at Chachi says that is at Riz IUP, and that is Bobby FJ Town. Uh, you can follow us for complete randomness and asinine things of all nature. Mm -hmm. Yep. I guarantee you at least one completely ridiculous tweet from me a day. But you usually get uh, about, according to TweetDeck, you get about 28 of them. So, because <laughs> apparently I, I only tweet 28 times per day. Uh, in case you're joining us for the first time. It feels like more. It does feel That's like over more. one an hour. I know. So. In case you've never joined us before, we have a series of questions that we answer each and every week. The, 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 the final questions are varying and hopefully prompt a, a, a discussion of sorts. Uh, however, we always start with the same question and have a challenge. Last week's challenge was to sleep. Uh, the team was coming off of ex Extra Life, a uh, 24-hour gaming charity. Bobby, stop sleeping! You are not. Sorry. What? What? Wake up. Uh, what? No. Oh, I was nope. catching up on the challenge. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we will talk about what we played this week, and then I will pick something to play as a challenge. So, Riz. Yes. What'd you play this week, buddy? Well, first of all, I did play the challenge. I'd hope so. Yeah. I made it uh, easy it, enough for and, you. And it's a strange thing happened this week. Uh, I, I've learned that once you play video games for 24 hours, the, you don't want to play another game <laughs> for a very, very long time. So you didn't play anything this week? <laughs> Wrong. Okay. I played, I started playing a video game Wednesday. And that was Mass Effect 3. And then Song Pop. And then. I picked up this. Oh, Chachi Jealous. I, I I don't know what it's about. It it just looks really cool. And <laughs> like there's all these stuff stuff in here and it's awesome. Riz. So Yes. Riz. Yes. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> before I jump before I jump through the internet and beat you for that game. Okay? Smash. <laughs> I will I will jump through the I will jump through the internets and show up in your house and just completely and utterly destroy you for that game right now. I um, you will back you a knife. <laughs> show up at your house and use that knife to stab you. Hurricane Sandy has uh ruined my plan of getting the game today and therefore spending the next uh five business days playing it, considering I'm off until Tuesday. And you should redbox it until you show us up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Redbox has it. They I, should. I mean, I would have to go out and buy the game at real t retail price and then take it back at like a $20 discount. Like I did. So that'll, that's – I'm angry yeah, right now. Bobby, what would you play? I played Sleep. No. I, I played um, Sleep Borderlands is a very 2. good game. Uh, I played Borderlands 2. I played uh, Marvel Avengers Alliance again. I can't get away from it. Um, Dishonored for a little bit. And uh, Wheel of Fortune, the demo on Xbox. Because I don't know why. Their heads are weird. And it's just it's a weird demo. Um, and I picked my dad 
snagged me off of an auction site, Forza Horizon, so I'll be playing that tonight. So that, that looks fun. Oh, fantastic. I was looking for a challenge for this week. Um, what did I play this week? I didn't really. I, I played some Plants vs. Zombies. Um, I, I'm still stuck on the uh, Stickman Dive game because it's completely addicting and stupid. Um, Miss Pac-Man, Jetpack Joyride still, and that's pretty much it. I didn't really have time to sit down and play anything. Um, yeah. Sorg, what did you play? I don't know, but I'm trying to find you a copy here of uh, Assassin's Creed 3. In Redbox? We can reserve, and you can pick it up at Redbox after the show. Can I? Yes, yes you can. Oh, amazing. If you $2 want. $2 per night. Where's the red box at? Uh, looks like we got some over at Casual Channel. I mean, we're going to have to go, like, the opposite direction a little bit, but it might be worth it for your gaming goodness. Yeah, no, because I'm not going to start playing it until tomorrow anyhow. Okay, so you're just kind of hoping it pops up? Yeah. If not, there are options. I know. These, It looks like they are available at these. I know. Uh, and other fine locations. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Ton, a like ton of red box. boxes. Holy crap. Gotta love red box. Um, our, this week's challenge is I don't have one. Um, oh. Miss Pac-Man. Okay. Miss Pac-Man will be this week's challenge. Because I love Miss Pac-Man. She is my favorite pellet goblin little creature. <laughs> pellet goblin. She's so cute. I got Miss Pac-Man in my bedroom. Whoa. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh. No, I got one of those little uh, controller <coughs> Miss Pac-Mans. Uh, but you said like you had her in your ba bedroom right now. Miss Pac-Man's actually harder than pa regular Pac-Man. It's better than regular Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is. is. All right. Uh, if you were a game designer, what time period would you set your game? Bobby, go. I would either set my game in the Greece or ancient Greece or ancient Rome because there's a lot of things you can do. I know the God of War games are set there, but there's so much more you can do uh, besides that kind of stuff. Um, or the medieval times, like kind of like Skyrim. Uh, dragons were real, right? Oh, yeah. Dragons okay. were real. Yeah. Dragons. Yeah, that, that's when. That sounds appropriate. Yeah, dragons and unicorns just didn't have enough room on the ark. Yeah, and they triceratops. Died off, they died off with the dinosaurs. Mm. Triceratops too. Yeah, because he he was a mythical tr creature. They, they were relying nice. they were relying on the T Rex to hold the door for them, but the T Rex didn't have long enough arms to reach. I've always wanted to do an epic battle between a unicorn or a Pegasus versus a triceratops. With like this sort of Viking went. dude riding it and killing things, because <laughs> because they said triceratops didn't exist. Riz, <laughs> yes. Time period. Go. Well, I chose something really different because the biggest niches now niches now are the medieval times, or they're pushing it way over into the future, like Call of Duty Black Ops. Even though it's going to be an amazing oh, that's game, way into the future. That's 2025. We're gonna have yeah, flying way in the future, things. and like Mass Effect and XCOM or whatever it's called. Um, but I would do something in the present time because there's not that many action-based games set now. It's always techie do this or the Romans coming to get the guards or whatever the hell that is. But still, right now. That would have been a great niche to, like, form. Is that a shot at my answer? I, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I, liked, I liked your answer, Bobby. Uh, Wrestling Revolution in the chat room agrees with you. Uh, just a different dimension. And yeah. I would have to say that uh, I would go with present time. But I, I would mix it with a... Uh, the plug came out of the laptop. Um... <laughs> I would uh, throw in medieval elements. Hmm. So I think I would I would do like a, a present time, but instead Alternate of history, yeah, instead of guns and crap, there would be like medieval Knives weapons and, and stuff. Still, cannonballs, yeah, and shit like that. Cannibals, cannibals. cannonballs, <laughs> and then there would still be dragons. 
knives in which Chachi can fax Riz and kill him. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna fax <laughs> because <laughs> because if any game, if there's no mechs, there has to be dragons. Right. Dragon mechs. Dragons are the mechs of oh, medieval oh, oh. times. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Uh, favorite multiplayer map of all time, Riz. Uh, Nuketown. I, I don't have to say anything about that. It's Nuketown. And also Dome. I, I think Bobby, Chachi, even Sorg mm-hmm. and I have done this many of times. We were playing late at night on uh, Modern Warfare 3 and we're like, Okay, we'll go one more game, unless it's Dome. <laughs> unless it's Dome, and we'll play more. Well, yeah, because uh, Dome is that, is one of those levels where it's not only a great multiplayer map, but while you're when you're done playing it, for some reason you're re-energized for at least a couple mm-hmm. more rounds. Uh, it, because, I mean, you know where everything in Dome is, and it's not a hard map to remember. Right. And it's such a small map. Well, at least the, the play area is normally all contained in a small area. So, I mean, it, as soon as you turn around, something's shooting at you. Mm-hmm. So, I mean. It's a uh, great game for confirmed kill. Yeah, definitely. Awesome game. Um, awesome I have to agree with you. Uh, that or Terminal. I, I like Terminal. Um, terminal is one of those levels that just pisses me off, though. <laughs> Because, I mean, someone always gets into the cockpit of the plane mm-hmm. or oh. on the plane in general and starts picking you off from – and you're not even paying attention, and then you're just dead. Uh, Bobby, favorite multiplayer map of all time? I'll give you your Nuketown and Dome because those were pres- some pretty awesome maps. But my two favorites were for Modern Warfare 2. The the map that actually did start the whole uh, one more game unless it's this map would be Rust from Modern Warfare 2, which you, you guys didn't get to play, huh? Um, it was smaller than Dome and Nuketown. It was basically a crane that you could go up and snipe people. And it was just anywhere you'd turn, there was somebody in this level, like right next to you. It was We called it the shotgun level because you could either only – we had rules that you could only use shotguns or knives – a lot of the times when we play, and it was just so close combat, and just oh, it was, it was a, an amazing map. Another one of my favorites from Modern Warfare Two was Favela, which I'd always say that's my favorite level. <laughs> so th- that was, and I, and I got really good at Favela, even though there was that controversy lately with it. They had to take it out of the game, and then they put it back in, and you know, but it was a good map. I li- I liked Favela. So yeah. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Was there a game that you bought that exceeded or didn't come close to your expectations? Um, Riz. Uh, for exceeded my expectations, I actually saw a few playthroughs of Saints Row the Third. And I was like, okay, this game looks cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy this game just to see what it is. And then at, once I bought this get, bought Saints Row the Third, I was drawn into whatever world there they have, which featured beating people with dodos, uh, dressing up like a giant cat, <laughs> the big head, beating up uh, little hot dogs. Like, people dressed up as hot dogs. And it just was extremely fun. And that's one of the reasons why I kept on playing it until a couple months ago. And for disappointment, uh, one of the games I had that I was really looking forward to play was uh, Deus Ex Human Evolution. Evolution. Whatever. But it, 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 it was bad. I don't know why, but it wasn't that good to me, so I wasn't good to it. And also, L.A. Noir. Uh-huh. L.A. Noir can suck. R.I.P. L.A. Noir. Uh, if you come over to my house, Chachi, I will give you. I will buy you L.A. Noir. Instead of having you beat me up for my Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, no. Okay. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Um, if I come over to your house, I, I, I'm going to bludgeon you to death with your own Xbox controller. And the knife he faxed you. <laughs> and I'm going to I'm gonna <laughs> use the knife that I faxed you, and I'm going to bludgeon you and take your copy of Assassin's <laughs> Creed 3. You're going to bludgeon me with the paper knife? Yes. Ah. What do you He's mean paper? What do you mean paper, paper cuts. What do you mean paper knife? I'm faxing the actual knife to you. Uh, That's how fax machines work, right? Yeah. They're like little. You can also fax soup. They're like little transportation devices. Yep. Right. Right. I like soup. We'll have that in 2025, according to uh, Black Ops. We're gonna Ops have a two. lot of things from Black Ops Two. <laughs> Faxing knives is one of the things uh, in the you can chat do room. Don't uh, big donut for Mario Kart 64 by the Wrestling Revolution. And uh, Brother Matt said, I loved Eight Edge from Quick 2. <laughs> and uh, Revolution says, Exceeded Giratu Man. Never heard. Me either. Bobby. Well, I'm going to start with my disappointment of a game uh, Assassin's Creed 1. Terrible game. I was so excited to play as in a, a, a badass assassin. And I just, I, I wasn't feeling the first game. And I don't know why, it just, it, a lot of people say that the first one was terrible. The, the controls were not the best. Um, but the game that I was surprised by was Assassin's Creed Brotherhood when I jumped back on the bandwagon, which is, it won me over enough that I'm going to get Assassin's Creed 3 because of all the awesome trailers and stuff like that. So I'm going to pick that up Friday. But the, the game I was surprised by was Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So it was a good game. Chachi? Um, uh, exceeded, I'm going to have to go with, um, and although I, I won't play it anymore now because of personal politics, um, I'm going to have to go with Fez. Um, that game 100% exceeded my expectations of it. Um, I picked that up because friend of the show, uh, Lunchbox, said, you have to play this game. And he was completely right. You had you had to play this game. <clears throat> and then the uh, the creator of said game turned into an ass hat, and uh, huh. so yeah, I won't play that game anymore. Damn it, Riz! Put down Assassin's Creed Three. I don't want to put it down. <laughs> no. <laughs> the guy's sword goes to the question mark. Though. I don't know anything about I this. Shot it. I am not gonna. I am. I am gonna bludgeon you to death with that game. <laughs> Um, as far as disappointment... No, 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 nobody else saw it, but you, they don't know that there's a screen to the right of you, uh, yeah. to the left of you, uh, where you can see everything that Riz does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I can, I can, yeah, you can't see it, but I have, uh, I have Riz and Bobby, uh, and you can't see where I'm pointing, but I have Riz and Bobby over here on my left, and so I can see everything they're doing, but they can't see everything I'm doing, also or, on you. Unless you're on me, and then that's at a delay. Yeah. What if we have psychic powers? If you have Chuck, psychic... you're flicking me off, off camera. I am now. Okay. I see that <laughs> with my psychic powers. Wow, you can see my arm over there. Yeah. yeah. You can see my arm. It's right there. <laughs> and then over here, where you can't see my hand anymore, is where the the rest of my arm and the extended finger at Riz is. Because he keeps showing off the fact that he has Assassin's Creed 3, and a hurricane I fucked know. me over. Um, Sandy! Uh, yeah, as far as uh, disappointed games, I actually, I, I agree with Bobby. However, uh, my journey was a little different. Um, Mike, behind the board, show yourself. Show Why yourself. don't you just use my first name? Show yourself. Nobody knows me by my first name. <laughs> Show yourself. Kayfabe! Show yourself. No, I don't have a camera on me. Oh. On, and I don't have one set up. Oh. She's Deadpool this week. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Sorg and his wife said, hey, you have to play this game. And they gave me Assassin's Creed 2. And so I, I played it, and it was amazing. And I went on to uh, Brotherhood and Revelations. And uh, about a month ago... While I was patiently waiting for Assassin's Creed 3 to come out, I went out and I picked up one. And yeah, had I started there, I don't know if I would have kept going. Mm -hmm. um, it's just not the same 
game. You just get in a group of people and shove them. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I, I mean, well, I mean, it's it's it was the first one, and it was pretty big. It, yeah, you can't go back to it. It's a pretty, pretty mm-hmm. big breakthrough if this is the first one of a game like that that you that you did. Now, how many games have emulated that kind of thing? Mm-hmm. Mm. It was bad. What, where's Waldo? Yeah. Hey, where's what? Waldo got dangerous in the later <laughs> years? Waldo got a knife in it as, it, instead of his walking stick. <laughs> he faxed over a knife. He faxed over a knife. <laughs> All right. You guys have been listening to Insert Coin Begin Presents Let's Play Episode 22. Um, next week's challenge, as I said, Miss Pac-Man. You can play it on whatever whatever format you want. Just uh, come back, tell us you played the game I was wrong. I was wrong. I have Pac-Man in my room. Oh. Oh, Pac-Man. And, uh... Hey, tell us your high score. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll just uh, high scores challenge? Yeah, we'll throw out a high score challenge. Um, and then, yeah, come back and we'll answer some more questions like we did this week. And we'll have a great conversation. Mm-hmm. And maybe by then I, I'll, I'll have received Assassin's Creed 3 and mm. have it beat. So, you know. Ruby. That, that's, why, that's why I took the time off. I wanted to have the game beat before I had to go back to work. Or else I would have just been pulling all-nighters waiting for the game. Um, uh, you can join us every week here around about 8 o'clock, a little bit after at live.circuitarmedia.com, following Awesome Cast Proceeding Wrestling Mayhem Show. Or following a Turntable yeah. FM session. <laughs> yeah, or, or following a Turntable FM session like you stumbled on today. Which Chachi uh, kept skipping me. I wanted to... I wanted to get through that round, Dick. Um, you can find us on Twitter at InsertCoinTB, on the interwebs at InsertCoinToBegin.com. We are on Google+. Plus. We are on Facebook. You can talk to us. We answer questions, talk to you. We want to have a conversation with you. How are you today? I'm doing good, Chachi. How are you doing? I'm, I am I'm... angry, but thank you for asking me. Why? I'm because sad. you didn't get Assassin's Creed 3? Yes. And I'm I did? Sad for yes. Chachi. So... For Riz and for Bobby and for the ghost behind the boards. Named Michael for some reason. Yeah, this week. This week his name is Mike. I think I'm going to call him Fred next week and it'll probably be Jeff after that. Yo, Freddy! So, until until next week, I am Chachi. This is Insert Quinn Begin Presents Let's Play. We will see you next week.